So to demonstrate this problem, the first thing I will do is remind us of a couple things. In the given statement, we have a volume equation. dv dt is given. A height of 4 inches is given. An equation that relates the height and the radius is given. And a reminder that you're asked to find dh dt. Now, it wasn't said in the problem statement that the height and the radius are related. But because this curve is revolved around the y-axis, you can see that height goes with radius. I'm sorry, height goes with y, and radius goes with x. So now I'll move over. If we were <clears throat> going to find dh dt, we would differentiate volume with respect to time. However, in this case, we don't have height. We have radius. So I need to put radius in terms of r. It's pretty easily done by taking the square root of both sides. The radius, or the x, is equal to the square root of the h, or the square root of the y. So now I can come through and substitute the square root of h for r. Volume is 2 pi the square root of h cubed, or we can rewrite that as volume equals 2 pi h to the 3 halves. Now when I differentiate, I get dv dt equals 3 halves times 2 pi h to the 1 half dh dt. And from here I'm just plugging in knowns and solving for dh dt. When you do that, you have 3 equaling 3 over 2 times 2 pi times 4 to the 1 half times dh dt. Our 3's cancel, our 2's cancel, the square root of 2 is 4 is equal to 2, and so dh dt equals 1 over 2 pi and our units would be inches per minute.